To export data files, first start by navigating to the Send and Receive Files button, located in the top right-hand corner of the homepage. From the drop-down menu, select Export. A new export window should appear. Choose the export file type. The file name is automatically generated for you. The file must be zipped in order to be read by the display. Choose the destination for the exported files, either download to your desktop or USB, or send directly to the equipment. It is important to know that the equipment needs to be connected in VMS by the dealership before attempting to send files over the air. If you want to keep the same format to send to multiple machines, you may choose to save this file as a master setup file. Next, select the items to import. Select items from the drop-down menus next to each category. You may select all, none, or selected items in each category. You can also search within the drop-down menu by typing into the text box located at the top of the drop-down menu. When exporting boundaries, you may choose to include a buffer zone in feet that will be added to the outside of the boundary area. You can also choose to include or exclude inner boundaries. Take this time to review the export data by confirming the information listed below. If you are exporting multiple fields, you can view the map preview. Use the drop-down menu located below the map to select the field you want to review. Click Finish. Your export data will begin to process. If you chose to download the file, go to your downloads on your desktop and copy the file to a formatted USB. If you chose to send to equipment, the file will send over the air and a prompt will appear on the machine display to be accepted by the operator during the next key cycle.